Just doing a little follow up on the uh, fuel pump uh, situation that we had. What I'm gonna do first of all, I'm gonna add an, an additional open face filter back here where this paper filter is. I had a couple of suggestions. One was from Russell from Triumph Experience and he was telling me that these filters here are basically garbage. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This one's been on here for probably about two or three years, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And then I'm just gonna simply add additional open face filter like I already have up front. Uh, what I'm gonna do, first of all, is open this line up and let some gas drain out. I wanna see how that's gonna flow. So I'm gonna get my bucket and we'll come back to that. So we're just gonna stuff this under here just to uh, prevent some of the gas from spilling out everywhere. I wanna see how easy this line flows when I open it up. Um, I also had a suggestion to open the gas tank up to see how easy it flows because my uh, vent pipe on the gas tank could be clogged and that's very possible because the car does sit up throughout the uh, winter time and anything could have crawled up in there so we're going to check that as well this is with the old filters on and i'm just trying to see if the gas flow from the tank up to the fuel pump is sufficient enough because as it was brought to my attention by some of the people on the triumph forum that um i could have a clog in the line coming from the tank or it could be that vent tube that's on the gas tank. So the test to that would be to pop open the gas cap and see how the gas flows with the gas cap open. Because this tends to happen, both times that it's happened, it's happened right after I've uh, put probably about seven to $10 worth of gasoline in. So there could be something in the tank. I'm not even sure if this thing is draining as best as it should. Well, the gas cap is open now. I don't see much of a difference. So we're gonna stop right here and I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna take those filters off. Okay, so I'm assuming that this filter should be pumping a little more gas than this. That filter's full and it's not allowing anything to come out of that. So here is the culprit. It's this little fuel filter here. Because uh, when both of them were together, I was getting that little trinkle out. But now that I've cut it, so that's the culprit. At any rate, we're gonna take both of these out. Because this one's been in there about two years. This one's probably been in there since I finished the car, which is about five years. So we're gonna get rid of both of those. And we're gonna put one of these open face on there so I can really see what's going on and it looks a lot better. Okay, now that I got that filter off of there, I'm gonna just let you see the difference between how this gas flows and definitely flows very well. That's how it should be doing. I was getting the trinkle out. So what it was, the silver filter, that paper filter was doing okay, but we're gonna get rid of both of them. So I'm imagining that the problem is solved because that is definitely flowing. All right, so we got the, the new open face filter in there. And as you can see already, it just has that little dime puddle up in the top which is showing that that filter is full. Um, and this pretty much a match to what's going on here. So I think we got it whipped. We're about to see, we're gonna fire this thing up. Back when we were testing the system, this particular filter here was going up and going back down, going up, going down which was telling me that we weren't getting a good flow from the fuel pump. So I was assuming that it was the fuel pump, but it was something as simple as a little $3 filter that I had on the front of it. Got rid of that, 
I'm going to put one of the open face filters on down here on the inlet now and you can see that's consistent staying where it should be and this one here is being consistent staying where it should be and from there I think we got it whipped so I'm gonna go back here and close the fuel cap on the gas tank and see if that has a difference because I do have the gas cap open and if we see no difference in this now that I've closed the gas cap that means that our vent tube on the back of the gas tank is working as it should. I mean, it's allowing air in there and allowing the fuel pump to siphon from the tank. So at this point, I think we figured out it wasn't the fuel pump, a simple fuel filter. And for that, we're going to say TR Rehab, and we out.